okay so let's start with today's uh, uh, session uh, so so uh, as you know we are discussing white lung shadow so as you can see on this x ray uh, in the left middle zone there is a rounded opacity and uh, this is quite discrete separate from uh, adjacent structures and if we look at the rest of the x ray there is no obvious abnormality so this is uh, what a uh, lung nodule, nodule looks like uh, on the X-ray. So what is a lung nodule? Lung nodule is a discrete area of whiteness situated within a lung field. It should not be uh, attached to any structure. It should not be attached to the pleura. It should not be uh, associated with any collapse or any pleural effusion. So it is a dis discrete structure and it should be less than three centimeter in diameter. 3 cm size hoga, so that is called as lung, lung nodule and if it is more than uh, 3 cm that will be called as lung mass and when there is only one nodule it is called as uh, solitary pulmonary nodule and if it, there are more than one then that is called as multiple nodules. So mostly uh, when we are looking at a nodule what uh, we are uh, thinking or, of or what we want to rule out is whether it is malignancy or not. So it can be benign nodule or it can be malignant like primary lung cancer or metastasis from elsewhere. And then it can be an infection as well uh, in the form of abscess. I have told you that lung abscess it is a cavity filled with part air and part fluid. Kuch fluid hota hai, kuch air hota hai. But if the cavity is completely filled with the fluid, then it will give appearance of a nodule or a mass. That is called as round pneumonia. It can also appear as a nodule. And then, then there can be cysts like hydrated cysts. And sometimes infarction can also appear like that. And as we discussed yesterday, rheumatoid nodule, they can also appear like these, uh, these opacities. And then there can be multiple nodules. Like in this x-ray, you can see that there are multiple nodules of variable size they are present in all the lung zones upper middle and lung, lower uh, zones so when you see multiple nodule you need to think of a differential the most concerning differential uh, in this case would be uh, metastasis from extra pulmonary malignancy so these are also called as cannonball mats uh, they are of large size and of variable size and they are most uh, dense in the lower zones because they uh, these malignancies usually spread through the blood and blood supply in the lung is most in the lower zone so from where they can come they can come for come from any so solid organ they can come from kidneys they can come from colon they can come for from testicles so these investigation for the investigation should be done to find the primary source and do biopsy from there So nodule can be of this size, uh, a bit larger size and of variable size, or they can be very small size. If you look at this x-ray, there is diffuse involvement of both lung field, upper, middle, and lower zone. And if you look closely, then you can see that there are dot, dot, dot type nodules in this. These are of smaller size nodules. So this is what we call as millery nodules. Millery TB ka shayad aapne sunao. So millery, uh, next slide will talk about why they are called millery nodules. So millery nodule, they have also got a specific uh, differential. Uh, they can be due to infections like tuberculosis, fungal infection. They can be due to chicken pox. Like if someone had chicken pox pneumonia, chicken pox pneumonia then these, uh, they can have this appearance and then these can calcify and they can persist throughout the life. Then again, they can be metastasis and other granulomatous diseases like sarcoidosis or occupational lung disease like, like pneumoconiosis. So whenever you see this type of appearance, these differentials should come in your mind. So further, for further uh, investigation, first of all, you will need history, examination and further investigation for TB. Like for TB, you can do sputum test or uh, for uh, if malignancy is the suspicion you will need to do a biopsy for sarcoidosis again you will need to do a biopsy as well pneumoconiosis uh, usually there is history of occupational exposure so millet 
why they are uh, called millet nodules because they resemble these millet seeds so they are very small size 3 mm in size and they are usually distributed throughout the lung fields thoda sa isme isme pe aap differential kar sakte hain ki jaise maine pehle dikhaya if uh, metastases usually lower zones mein hote hain tb usually zyada concentrated upper zones mein hoti hai sarcoidosis is usually uh, in the middle zone or along the fissure again another uh, x-ray showing metastasis bilateral nodular opacities to so, jab bhi aapne x-ray dekhna hai ab is tarah ki diffuse involvement nazar aayegi to you focus very closely very carefully what type of involvement is this is this homogeneous or non homogeneous is case mein non homogeneous hai aur agar hum isko gaur se kareeb se dekhe to ye aapko isme dots nazar aa rahe hain and at some places wo dots ikatthe ho ke zyada dense uh, jo hai na shadow bana rahe hain लेकिन है ये डॉट्स ही अगर हम इनको गौर से देखें ना तो दिस दिस आर टिपिकल अपीयरेंस ऑफ नोड्यूल्स ऑन एक्सरे देन मूविंग ऑन इफ वी गिव अ जनरल लुक ऑन दिस एक्सरे देन देयर इज अ नॉर्मैलिटी इन दिस एरिया राइट मिडिल एंड लोअर जोन एंड इफ वी देन फोकस ऑन द एब नॉर्मैलिटी हाउ डज इट लुक लाइक इफ यू लुक क्लोजली दीज आर द राउंडेड स्ट्रक्चर हेयर हेयर एंड हेयर मल्टीपल राउंडेड स्ट्रक्चर दीज आर कॉल्ड सिस्ट तो बेसिकली दीज आर डायलेटेड ब्रोंकाई ब्रोंकाई आर डायलेटेड तो दिस इज अ केस ऑफ ब्रोंकेक्टिस मल्टीपल डायलेटेड सिस्टिक स्ट्रक्चर एंड सम ऑफ देम हैज फ्लूड इन दैम विद एयर फ्लूड लेवल अगेन सो दिस इज अ टिपिकल अपियरेंस ऑफ ब्रोंकेक्टिस again a similar x-ray showing bronchic cases again multiple cystic shadows 